So what you just heard in that display I just put up was a track from Realistic Videos, uh, The Real, and I just want to give her a special shout and thank you. She hooked me up with one of her CDs at New York Comic Con this year. I didn't get really a, a lot of chance to meet up with her. There was a few people I didn't really get to talk to that much, but uh, I would have liked to talk to her a little bit more, but I really am enjoying this CD. Thank you very much, Real. And this whole... And it's also what's playing in the background right now, too, so you're going to hear it throughout this whole video. Um, so this video is just going to be me talking, so if you're not interested in any of that, you know, feel free to switch it off. It's going to be all about my experience at the con this year. Um, I didn't take any video or pictures or anything. I, I mean, you're going to see tons of that stuff from everybody else. So this is just, you know, a couple things I picked up. And, you know, I don't really do haul videos or anything like that, but just a few things I picked up at the con. Uh, they were just handing these books out and it's got some really nice artwork in here. You know, so I kind of just wanted to show this off. Um, honestly, I don't know what this is yet, but um, I'm going to read it give it a chance. Um, another comic I picked up, the only comic I actually really picked up was from Ty, Ty Star, and uh, it's his Twisted Comics. And, you know, gives you some buttons with it and everything. Now, I have looked through this. I haven't read it yet, but I was just looking through it. Man, awesome artwork. Awesome. I mean, funny. This comic's really good. So, make sure you talk with Ty. Here's the little, uh, whatever those things are called, you know, so maybe you can scan it, find out where to grab it at. Um, and I'll show you in a minute, too. There's a nice little ad for the ACBA page in here, too. But, Ty, another guy I met at the con. Very cool cat. Um, here's another one from the stop motion guys and let me get their stuff on the camera here it's four star 918 these guys do amazing stop motion I've, I've followed them since day one so this isn't like anything new a lot of you guys probably have seen these guys and they are really talented so make sure you go check them out too uh, I really didn't get a lot of time to talk with him either I wish I would have talked to him here's the only figure I picked up the whole time I was there was this black mask. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, but you're going to see it in a display that was probably already shown on this video, so we'll see how that goes. I just got a couple coupons for Hasbro and DC stuff. Um, oh, Rico the Great. Met that cat. He's a really cool dude. He gave me one of his stickers there. Uh, he does, you know, everybody's artwork. He made, like, one for Bug. He made one for Webhead. Uh, a few other guys I've seen him make. I think somebody yelled out, hey, Rico, you should make a group shot of all of us from that picture that Webhead took. And I'll show you that in a minute, too. And that would be really cool. He's got a great style to him, man, all his own. Really enjoy it. Really down-to-earth guy, too, man. And then I got some from my man Swiffy. <laughs> some cheetah. Complimentary passes. We never made it there, but... I can't even tell you all the different places we made it to, but uh, I'm going to talk more about that in a little bit. And then I got some gum. That's my haul, man. And this gum actually almost gave me a damn concussion. They were throwing it while we were waiting in the Hasbro panel line. And the dude hit me right in the head with like four packs of that thing. It was like crazy hard. He, he like didn't just throw it up in the air. He whipped it at us. So it like smacked me in the head. I was like, oh, dude, what's up? Anyways. Uh, real quick now, before I forget all this, uh, I wrote all this down. I mean, I tried to remember everybody's names, and I'm really bad with names. So I'm just going to run through all the people I met out there, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the experience. Uh, so I met Boog, Boog Nice 10, uh, X Webhead X, Ryan Riot, JRA Nightmare, uh, Mr. Mad Gus, Canis, Iron Lantern, the two of them. There was two of them. So uh, Swift. Uh, Sean Long, Realistic Videos, uh, G, D-Rock, Fernando Tron, uh, Ty, Danny LeBlanc, uh, Inomic, Zobi70, Jamal Chico. Uh, he's not on YouTube, I don't believe, but he's part of the Facebook group. Hey, it's me, Shane Miller. Uh, Stupid Penguin Pro, 
uh, I didn't even see him. I, I saw this guy, but I didn't even talk to him at all. Chrome TV. Um, and then my man, Loco Lou, which is freaking hilarious. I got a good story about that guy, too. So, in all, I met 23 members, well, including myself. There was 23 of us, like, constantly hanging out. I mean, there was people coming and going all over, but... Um, Actually, there was 24 of us. I forgot to mention Rocco the Great again. Um, and I keep saying Rico the Great, but it's Rocco. Rocco the Great. So, really great time. And now, the rest of this video is just going to be all some crazy ass stories and I'm gonna try to keep it PG but it's not gonna happen so stay tuned so some stuff I want to talk about Comic-Con uh, I had a blast I mean absolutely blast honestly I didn't even really go there uh, looking to like buy a lot of stuff or to I really didn't even experience the con I mean seriously I hung out at like the Hasbro booth almost the entire time so it's it's good I see other guys putting up videos about more of the con because I pretty much just stuck by the Hasbro booth, kept meeting more and more people there. I talked to Dave uh, Vonner and Dwight Stahl for like hours. Like I just kept bullshitting with them and it was, I just had a good time right there. So I didn't even experience that much of it. But I did walk around a little bit. I went over by like the DC Direct stuff and that they had really cool stuff up. Um, you can see in Sean Lawn's video, he put up a bunch of, of the figures they have. We actually got to talk to one of the DC guys, too. I, I believe his name was Scott. Um, pretty cool guy, you know, and he pulled out some stuff out of the case for us, like the Killer Croc mold and everything. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, another guy from Hasbro I want to bring up was Tony. I never got his last name, but he's the painter for Hasbro, and he was really cool cat. I mean... He had like figures in his pockets that he was pulling out and showing us. He was showing us like undercover stuff on his phone that I can't even really say uh, or talk about. And then he showed us some of his custom works he did, like his Anti Venom. He showed me and JR that. So that was really cool. Fun. I mean, just mad fun meeting up with all the community members. Um, you know, a lot of them had to go home early because, you know, we were all going to get up in the morning, but it, it'll. My PICs for sure, partners in crime, were Ryan Riot, Webbs, JR, Loco, Swifty. You know, those guys hung out with me like the whole night. We went bar to bar to bar. I mean, just crazy drinks. It was just too much, man. Uh, Boog hung out as long as he could, and then he had to go back. But believe me, the next day, Saturday, we all did the same thing right over again. But I got to give it up to those UK guys, man. Ryan Riot and Webbs, dude, those guys just... I mean, everybody else was there, like, kind of shopping and stuff like that. And, you know, me and Webbs did our shopping, like, the little bit of shopping I did. I did it with Webbs during the day. But when it came to the night, I mean, like, guys were kept, kept going into, like, Toys R Us and going into, you know, the different stores. They wanted, they wanted to buy stuff, and I understand that. But I was there to hang out with you guys. So, you know, uh, Ryan Riot and WebEx, they were both like, you know, what are we doing? I I'm done going in the store. Let's go get another drink, man. And so we did, we got pints and pints and pints, I mean, it was just crazy. And I'm not going to tell you all the little stories about it, but it was a good, good time. So, uh, also Saturday, we all went out to lunch and I got to meet uh, Mr. Mad Gus and Canis. Those are two of the coolest guys. I wish that, like, one of my biggest regrets was that I didn't hang out with those guys more because those guys were just down to earth. Dude. Met up with uh, D-Rock and G. Those guys are awesome. G is huge. He's like a tower, man. This guy is humongous. And, like, me and Webbs were, like, the shortest guys in the group. Well, until Mad showed up. But, uh, yeah, all these guys were huge. I told them we need to get a basketball game going because you had, like, JR, Boog, G, freaking even Ryan Riot. Like, I mean, all these guys were just so damn tall. Ty, Zobi. I mean, these guys were super tall. So. And I said I was going to show you guys some of this. Ty Star, uh, his comic strip. But here's the ACBA um add inside of there which is really cool a bunch of our pictures and everything and it's a two page ad so there's the other one i'm sure you guys have seen this already though but yeah make sure you guys pick up this book man support ty this is really funny just to mention too i was talking about like dave honor and uh dwight stall and all that there was and tony the painter there was another guy there that we met i don't know if too many people have talked to him before. His name was Scott, and I don't remember what his last name was. He was at the Hasbro panel also. But we were asking him, he was a marketing for Hasbro. <clears throat> and we asked him a bunch of questions too. I mean, 
JR, myself, Ryan Riot, I mean, we were drilling these guys. I mean, left and right with questions. And they answered all of them. So, I mean, it was really cool. Um, I want to talk about we were all uh, drinking right before the Hasbro panel. So, of course, we go all, we all in the Hasbro panel freaking lit. And, I mean, but where we were at, we waited forever to get a table. And so we were already kind of a little tipsy by the time we got to the table. And if you guys check out Canis video, you can see I'm already wasted. I'm talking about the washroom and all this other crap. And But the waitress comes up to us, and I mean, there's like 15 of us. And, and our bill was going to be huge. We've been drinking. We all ordered food just about. She comes up to us in the middle of, our, of us eating, and she's like, I need you guys to leave because I have a, another table coming in. And we all look at each other. We're like, are you serious? First of all, this is the worst freaking... Uh, service we've ever got I mean the food was good like Boog said in one of his videos the drinks were cold they were good but this girl was just crazy so you know and then she doesn't split the bill it's all one bill so we're all trying to figure this out I'm like you know what give me this bill I walk up to her and I'm like hey split this bill for us she gave me the dirtiest look you guys would ever see next thing I know there's this guy looking like freaking Lou Ferrigno standing at the door like ready to escort us all out and I just remember Matt saying, is this guy serious? Does he see how many deep we have? We'll, we'll murder this guy, you know. So, oh, that was just something else that was pretty funny. Uh, and then, you know, we get into the Hasbro panel and we're playing musical chairs and jumping all over the place. And we were being the most unruly people there. I mean, there was one guy that wasn't with us, but he was just, like, screaming out stuff. But we were all just, like, screaming out everything. I mean... You know, you were supposed to form a line behind a microphone and talk and all that. Yeah, none of us did that. No, I don't think any of us got up to actually talk behind the mic. One person did, and I forgot who it was. And he talked about ACBA and everything, too, and it was pretty cool. Uh, the crowd got pretty, you know, a lot of claps for that and everything, so that was pretty cool. But other than that, we were just, like, screaming, you know, when's this coming out? And when's, you know, so I don't know. It, it was, like I said, some more funny stuff. Waiting in that line was pretty funny. Uh, we were getting, I got hit in the head with like packs of gum and it was some crazy stuff. But and then we went back out to the floor again, right back to the Hasbro booth. And uh, I think, I think it was that day and uh, Vonner got on the phone, on JR's phone, and he calls Shardimus and it was just a hilarious call. Um, hopefully Shard saved that and maybe plays it one day or something. It was pretty funny stuff, but. Uh, and then we just ended up going back to the hotel room where JR and Ryan Riot were staying. And then we got to meet, like, I got to meet Sean Long, um, Mandy, Realistic. Uh, who else was up in there? Chrome TV was in there, but I didn't really meet him. I think I said that before. And there was somebody else in there that I met. I can't remember right now. But um, so that was nice to meet, you know, some more of the crew. I mean, you know, the ML community and the. ACBA community was all out there in full force and it was just really great you know so but yeah that's pretty much my experience throughout it uh, there's a bunch more stories and I'm not going to share a bunch of stuff with you guys because this would be like triple x rated R <laughs> stuff going on but uh, so just in closing I just want to say I had a great time meeting all you guys uh, I had a lot of fun and hope to do it again next year hopefully get a bunch of people together for a San Diego Comic Con. Uh, this is just a little thing from Rico the Great and a little thing from uh, Ty Star Productions. But yeah, hope that we get everybody together for a San Diego, maybe rent a house or a villa or something. We kind of talked about that a little bit. But anyways, thanks to everybody I met uh, for making it such a good time. And in closing, I just got to say, shibby. <laughs> All right, peace.